Hi, I'm Laura Conley, your health and wellness coach. You've likely heard a lot about managing your cholesterol. Your doctor may have even tested your cholesterol levels using a blood test. But what is cholesterol and what role does it play in your health? Cholesterol is a building block your body needs to build cell membranes and also critical hormones such as estrogen and testosterone. Your liver makes about 80% of the cholesterol you need, while animal sources such as dairy, eggs, and meat contribute the rest. Yes, your body actually needs cholesterol, but too much, especially the wrong kind, can put your health at risk. Too much cholesterol can lead to deposits along your arteries and narrowing them. This narrowing makes it harder for blood to pass through. There are two types of cholesterol. There are low-density lipoproteins called LDL and high-density lipoproteins called HDL. HDL is often called good cholesterol because it actually protects the body from artery narrowing effects of LDL, often called bad cholesterol. Your doctor will often talk about your cholesterol numbers in terms of a ratio. He or she will want to know how much good cholesterol, HDL, you have relative to the bad cholesterol, LDL. The more HDL and the less LDL you have, the better. LDL contributes to the narrowing of the arteries. That process can lead to stroke, heart disease, and a host of other diseases. HDL can prevent that. Current research suggests that HDL helps by scavenging LDL cholesterol to keep the inner walls of the blood vessels healthy. Here are the numbers to remember. At a very high level, your doctor will want to see your LDL or bad cholesterol below 100 and your HDL or good cholesterol above 40. Now that we know the basics, how can we keep those HDL numbers high and those LDL numbers low? Here are a few things we can do. Maintain a healthy weight. Exercise. Exercising at least 30 minutes every other day can increase HDL. Quit smoking. Smoking actually suppresses good cholesterol. And eat a heart healthy diet. Here are some examples of a healthy diet that can help reduce your cholesterol numbers. First, consume healthy fats such as olive oil or coconut. Second, eat a diet low in processed carbohydrates and sugars. Third, try mixing in nuts, vegetables, and some fruits. Fourth, start eating more purple vegetables. Beyond being a fun color, purple vegetables contain antioxidants called anthocyanins. Fifth, eat more fatty fish, such as salmon or mackerel. These are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which can raise your HDL and lower LDL. Finally, avoid trans fats and hydrogenated fats in margarine and vegetable oils such as corn, soy, and canola. Anytime the label says partially hydrogenated or hydrogenated, stay away. With proper diet and exercise, you can keep your cholesterol numbers in a healthy range for life. Until next time, I'm Laura Conley, your health and wellness coach.